Coming to you live from the Apostolic Pentecostal Church. This is your host, Apostle Paul E. Jones, and I am a Native American preacher, and I preach to the call, to the chosen, and to the faithful. Welcome to Friday Night Praises as we lift up the name of the Lord all over the earth. We thank you for listening. We thank you for being here. We thank you for taking this time to spend with us this afternoon as we praise and we lift up the name of the Lord. I'm so excited. All the great things that are happening here at the Apostolic Pentecostal Network. Great things are happening here. People are listening from all over the world, from the north and south and the east and the west. From here in America, all over Europe, all over the Middle East, all over Japan and China and India and Africa, any other place that we know of, we know the Lord is there watching over us. He is protecting us. He is being there for us and everything that we need and everything that we know. And we want to praise. We want to lift his name up everywhere that he is. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and His truth endurance to all generations. Let's praise and let's lift His name up. Washed all my sins away. I say 
really taught me how to watch and pray. And I'm rejoicing the hallelujah each and every day. Lord, I'm rejoicing the hallelujah each and every day. Lord, I'm rejoicing the hallelujah each and every day. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for that. I love the time and I love the place where Jesus washed my sins away. Is it good to know that? Sing unto the Lord a praise song. God speaks to the storm, and he calms the raging sea, and he gathers up the ocean like the gentle the little breeze. For up in the heaven. God looks on mankind God knows each one of us Cause he is never Never too busy Lord, to say About you Oh, sing unto my Lord The upbeat song Unto the my Lord and all the earth Shout aloud and all is praising Oh my God, I know that He's great Let me tell you that my God, I know that He's great For God's blessings, they are renewed they are renewed each and every morning Because His love is everlasting He is strong and mighty too The whoa, whoa, sing unto my Lord That of the faith is on Oh, sing unto the my Lord That I'll be heard Oh my God, I know that He's real. Whoa, 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 sing unto my Lord, that I'm praising song. Oh, sing unto the my Lord, that I'll be heard. Shout and shout that all is praising. And oh my God, I know that he's real Let me tell you that my God I know that he's real And oh my God I know that he's real My God is real Sing unto the Lord, and I'll be heard. Shout aloud, and all is praising, and 
Oh my God, I know that that is real. Let me tell you that my God, I know that that is real. Let me tell you that my God, I know that that is real. Sing unto the Lord a praise song. When I look up into the heavens, I know God is there. When I look down here in the earth, I know God is there. When I look at the flowers and the trees and the birds and the sun and the moon and the stars and all the creation, I know that God is there. But most of all, I know that God is living within me. Because I'm a child of a living God. I'm a child of His greatest creation that has ever been established on this earth. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in His love. We are one in the Spirit of the Messiah. We shall not be divided. We shall not be defeated because we are one in the Spirit of the Messiah. Let me 
It's one of the hardest things to understand concerning the Christian walk is how we could be one with him and one with one another. But he prayed that prayer over in John 17. He says, Father, as you and I are one, let them be one. And who is the them that he was talking to? He was talking about us, the bride of Christ, the church, the called, the chosen, the faithful, all those people that he has called into his ministry. We are one in the spirit of Christ. Yeah. 
mighty God, and the angels bow before him in all heaven and earth. They adore him because he is a mighty God. Now let's pull out the old hymnal. Let's do a hymn talking about we will understand him better by and by. Tempted and tried we are fate to wonder 
Why it should be thus All the day long While there are others Living about us Never molested The wind the wrong And why cheer up, my brother? Live in the sunshine, we'll understand it. That all by and by, cause when we see Jesus coming in glory. From here, home in the sky, and then we shall see him in that bright mansion. We'll understand it, it all by and by. Know all about it, Father along with understand why you cheer up my brother within the sunshine, cause we'll understand it, it all by and by.
will understand it better by and by. Oh, yeah. We will understand it better by and by. Oh, yeah. We will understand it better by and by. look at the world and the shape that it's in, it's hard to try to explain or to fathom or to understand why things happen. But the promise is that one day every tear shall be wiped from our eyes and we will understand the things that happen here. Because we lack an understanding of the sovereignty of God. That he's in control. He's in control of the world affairs. Whether it's politics, religion, psychologically. Down to you and I. The scripture says in Romans 8. That all things work together for good to them. That love God to them who are called accordingly to his purpose. It's not for you and I in this time and space in this 3D world to try to understand the things that happen around us. But it is our job to put our faith and our trust and our hope in the Lord. Because the Lord will lead and guide us into all truth. And sometimes he will show us things to come. Because that's how good our Lord really is. Let me hear you, let your voice It is the love sound You let your voice is closer than a whisper Oh, I can feel it in my soul Let me hear you, let your voice It is closer than a whisper, oh yeah Oh, I can feel it in my soul I can see the sun is shining And I can see the moon a glowing I can see the universe It is splendid oh, I can run through the forest Way through those waters, let me tell you that your voice is closer than the whisper. I know that your voice is closer than the whisper. Let me tell you that your voice is closer than a whisper. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I can feel it in my soul. Let me tell you that your voice is closer than a whisper. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I can feel it in my soul. I can see the sun is shining, and I can see the moon a glowing. See the universe, it is splendor. Cause I can't run through the 
far is it I can wait through the waters? Let me tell you that your voice is closer than the whisper. I know that your voice is closer than the whisper. Cause I can't see the sun is shining and I can't see the moon but a glory. Remember the time when Elijah was in that cave 
and he was looking for the presence of the Lord, and he kept calling out, Lord God, where are you? Where are you? A storm came through, but God wasn't in it. An earthquake began to tremble the ground, and God wasn't in it. But he got quiet, and he heard a still, small voice. And the voice of the Lord began to speak to him. Sometimes that's what you and I have to do. We have to get quiet. We can't let the things of this world trouble our mind. But to let the presence of God speak to us. Whether it's through his word, through his prayer, through a song, through the preaching of a message. The presence of the Lord needs to be there. And when he is there, we know that God answers all those prayers. Sometimes he says no. Sometimes he says to wait. Sometimes he may say, not right now. But he always answers the prayers. For Jesus once said, if you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things shall be added unto you. We have the tendency in this world, we seek everything. We seek for Houses and homes and cars and pleasures and spouses and jobs and educations and all those kind of things. And Christ says, if we seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things shall be added unto us. Even with all the things that are happening today. There's never a time that we as the people of God really need to seek his face and to seek his presence. It is now. It's high time that we wake up from our slumber and our sleep and our laziness and our confusion and our doubt and and all those things and trust in the presence of the Lord. Because God is watching over us and everything that we do. Tell him the 
what you want to do. Everybody now to call him up, call him up. To tell him the what you want to do. You got to do to call him up, call him up. To tell him the what you want to do. You got to do to call him up, to tell him the what you want. Oh yeah, to let me tell you that if you want. Holy Ghost, to tell him the what you want. I said the standard if you want. And Holy Ghost, to tell him the what you want. I said the standard if you want. And Holy Ghost, to tell him the what you want. Did you got to do to call him up? To tell him the what you want. Ah, yeah, you got to do to call him up. Call him up. I said to tell him. What you want? I said to Santa, call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Do you got to call him up? I said to call him up, to tell him the what you want. Do you got to call him up? To tell him the what you want. Oh yeah, do you got to call him up? To tell him what you want. You got to call him up. You got to call him up. You got to call him up. I said to call him up. You got to call him up. I said to call him up. You got to call him up. You got to do the call him up. You got to do the call him up. I said to call him up. Favorite old Pentecostal song, call him up and tell him what you want. In today's world, with these smartphones and and text messages, this younger generation would not understand a phone that's on a wall with a wire connected to it. But I remember those days. And when you talk to somebody... If somebody else tried to call in, they would get a beeping sound, which meant they had to call back later. And back in those days, when you called long distance, you had to pay so many every minute, so much money every minute to do that. Boy, has time changed. (laughs) The world has changed. But I thank God each and every day that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Times may change, languages may change, terminology and and even understanding things that are around us. They may change all the time, but Christ never changes because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And it's good to know that. It's good to reassure that into our lives and to our heart to know that Christ Never changes. It's good to know that. It's good to believe that. It's good to realize that. Fear is gone because I know He holds the future and life is worth the living just because He lives. Sing that with me now. Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all 
spirit is gone because I know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives God sent His Son. They call Him Jesus. He came to live and forgive. He lived to die to buy my pardon and empty grave. My Savior lives Because He lives I can face tomorrow Because He lives All fear is gone Because I know That He holds the future Amen, amen, amen. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being with us today. With this time of praise and worship, singing gospel songs and sharing some thoughts here and there. And this is Apostle Paul E. Jones, and I am a Native American preacher, and I preach to the called and to the chosen and to the faithful. And Jesus loves you, and we do too.